there is an option to get a environment like processing running on your Chromebooks and that is using what's called openprocessing.org. So you will need to go to this um, website and I helps if you type it correctly openprocessing.org and you will need to create an account. You can use your school's Google account which is what I believe I did. I don't remember for sure but you're going to need to um, sign in or join and then I believe I've already joined so I get to click sign in and then we will cross my fingers that I have everything set up. In this environment um, it's going to be similar to what you're doing in the lab. You're going to be able to create a sketch and we will try to copy over some of the code um, that we worked with before um, but they have um, some built-in demos and some built-in things. You can start to play around just a little bit here. Um, one thing to note is that there's a graphic mode, which is a P5JS, and then there's processing.js. And processing.js is what we're going to use for a lot of our um, code. So if I switch to processing.js, this particular sketch probably won't work, but we'll see. It might blow up on me and it's not working. I know it's not working because if I go back, and this is all new to me, so um, actually I'm going to go to create a sketch. Um, so you're going to be learning much faster than I am. If I, It automatically pops back to that P5JS and now if I launch it, you're going to be able to draw these dots, which is what that code does. It's following my mouse, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how it does that. That's what it does. Um, to get out of here, maybe I click on this button again. I don't know. So click, save. All right, I clicked on that to exit out of that. But in order to do your coding like we just did in processing, um, where we had a few lines kind of like this, and we did the hello world, I'm going to copy this over into this environment. And I might make a, um, let's see if I can make a new sketch. OK. I don't know if this is going to work. That looks like maybe a new sketch. I have to click over to processing. And then when I do that, I believe if when I click over to processing JS right here, I can run it and it will output in like a little console window. And so that's how I can get that to execute. So you can work in um, a similar type of environment here on um, the uh, Chromebooks. I don't know what will happen if we tried to copy over our face that we did the other day in class. I would have to load that sketch and I don't know if I have that sketch available, but maybe let me grab it real quick here because I'm kind of interested or curious to know if it's going to work. So I'm going to copy that over. I'm going to create a new sketch. Oh, delete this tab, any code. So um, if you want to save that code, you would save it, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I don't care. And then I'm going to try to replace. This is our little face we did in class. And if I run it in, I'm going to try to run it in processing and see if it runs. And it does. So if we're in that processing mode, everything that you do um, should execute like it did in class. And therefore, you can use this environment on your Chromebooks. Kind of cool.